Hello. So, one of the people that I live with is has an engraver and has been wanting to have things to practice on to engrave. And while I was cleaning out this workspace um, from a bunch of leftover equipment from the previous tenants, um, I came across this, I don't know, just like copper strips that I have no idea what they were used for before, um, but they kind of a good practice material. So today I'm going to be cutting this up into smaller pieces and um, kind of hammering down the edges so they're not so sharp and making some little pieces that I can pass along to her so she can practice that because I like when people make stuff. Uh, so yeah, come along and we'll see what happens. So far, I found the best thing for cutting that has been these wire cutters. Um, I've had for a very long time. And so far, I've just kind of been randomly deciding how long the strips are I've been making. It hasn't really been determined length yet is better or worse. Uh, I don't usually like wearing gloves very much when I'm working, um, but um, this stuff is sharp on the edges and kind of weird. Um, so I've been using these leather work gloves which impedes my sense of touch, but always use protection. So first, um, these are kind of crinkled, so I've been straightening them out by just kind of rubbing them on the edge of my desk. And then from here, it's out of the way, come off the back. And then from there, this is the part I wish I didn't feel like the gloves were so quite so necessary because yeah, I'm trying to just gently bend the edge as evenly as I can. eyeball in it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but do want it to look clean and intentional. Down. Once I've got it to a place I think is pretty decent, I'm going to take the tiny hammer and tap it out. side. And depending on what she has of this piece, I might trim it down later, um, but just in case, I'm also going to try and close the edges.
I'm trying to bend them over just so they're not sharp, but also kind of just round it so it looks nice. a little bit more of a point than I would like, but not sharp, which is the goal. And go on to the other side. little more uneven but again we're just making some practice pieces I'm also practicing figuring out how to best use this found material so perfection not necessary yeah we got a nice little strip there from the light see what she does with this and then I think I might be trying to like I don't know Add them some other bracelets. We'll see what happens. Nobody knows. Uh, yeah. Um, let's do let's do one more. This time I'm gonna do something a little smaller. Do a shorter piece. Again, we're gonna flatten it out on the edge of the table. So it helps get this stuff off the back. I really know what that is. Again, I'm just gonna fold the edges with my gloves. Doing the edges isn't really actually working very well, so I'm gonna see if I just lean into the being pointed, I can achieve a more even result. So I'm trying to fight it. Close, no cigar, but not bad.
like to continue to find ways to make the edges a little more even, but overall, it's pretty good for today. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of trying to build a habit of making videos while I make stuff. Um, eventually, we'll get to leather tutorials, which is my main goal. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just kind of fucking around. So if there's anything you'd like to see me do, let me know. I'll take it under consideration. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to keep making stuff on video instead of not on video and see what happens.